hello friends welcome to the video tutorial of adio.net and in today's video we are going to study one of the most important object in adio.net and it is data adapter as i wrote here it is bridge between the disconnected data set and the data source now your data source can be xml or can be a database so let us study more about data adapter uh, look at this diagram okay so according to the definition of data adapter it is bridge okay this is your data adapter okay this is your data adapter it is a bridge between your database or data source and data set now what is data set data set is actually in memory representation of your data okay and it not only stores data it also includes your table design now when i say a table design it means data types of column constraint on column relationship between the tables everything okay so everything will be kept in memory in memory means what in our ram in our primary memory and our data data adapter is composed of this four command insert command update command delete command and select command so actually whenever we fire a select command it fetches a data from database and stored it in a data set and whenever we make any changes in a data set like suppose assume that i insert a row in a data set or i change a existing row in a data set or suppose i change existing row in a from the data set in that case data adapter will fire the respective commands okay so it works in two way means it is used to populate a data set as well as it is used to update the changes whatever we have made in data set to the database okay now see basically data adapter is used to populate a data set with a data from your data source and the next important thing is it is used to update your data sets so data source okay as i told you according to the diagram now data adapter is a bridge between your disconnected data set and your data source that is your database now remember one thing we cannot imagine data adapter without data set it is strictly tied with your data set class okay so whenever we are going to study the example of data adapter we are, go we are going to study both we cannot study data adapter individually or we cannot study data set individually we have to use data set and data adapter together okay so it is strictly tied tied with your data set now let us see the important method of a data set which is fill hmm? now what this fill method does actually it populates your data set or data table okay basically we are going to study the data set part in detail but time being just consider that uh, data set is collection of more than data tables okay so what this fill method does actually this fill method populates your data set okay by retrieving a set of records from the database now actually the fill method connects with database using either your connection string whatever you have specified or the connection object both are the options provided to you uh, you have to use a overload according to that now it retrieves the record by executing the sql set statement specified either using a string parameter now here string parameter means what you have create you have specified a plain sql statement or you can specify a sql statement via command object also we are definitely going to see this part practically okay and when it populates your data set or data table it close the connection means what is the meaning of this four line is that you need not to open and close the connection explicitly okay fill method connect with database means while connecting it will open the connection it will fill the data set or data table and after filling it closes the connection also so there is no need to open and close connection explicitly now the next important method is update method now what this update method does actually your update method goes to each and every record in your data set hmm? 
and it analyzes the row state value of each and every row. Means whether that new row is inserted or not, whether existing rows is row is modified or not, whether existing row deleted or not. According to that, it will call the respective SQL command. Means if new row is inserted, it will call insert command. If existing row deleted, it will call delete command. Okay. And whenever you do nothing on your data set, at that time your row state is actually unchanged. So it is compared with unchanged state. Okay. And according to that, different different respective SQL command will be fired by your update method of our data adapter. Now, to fire this command, to fire this different SQL SQL command. Okay. We what we need? We need a command builder object. Okay, we need one command builder object. So we are going to study a command builder object separately, okay, and practically also. So I hope you understand the concept of data adapter. And after studying the concept of data set, we will study a data adapter practically. Thank you.